All right, so you like the looks of a Peloton, you like the idea of a Peloton, you maybe even would really use a Peloton. The good news for you is I have a really good alternative that I think you're gonna wanna hear about. This video is all about how you can get a Peloton-like setup for a fraction of the price. We're talking way less than what a Peloton cost, and you'll still get many of the same benefits. So first of all, I've been using this setup for a while now, and I've gotta say it works perfect for me and for what I need, and it's a pretty intensive setup, meaning that you can get 99.9% .9 of the benefits of owning a Peloton without actually having to own one. Here's how it works. First, find either a stationary bike or a treadmill of your choice. I personally love the brand of treadmill that I have. It's super affordable, like the price is crazy cheap for a treadmill and it's got most all of the features that you could want it folds down it's super compact it can save space you can even like push this thing up against the wall flat it's insane how little the footprint is for this treadmill it's one of the things about a peloton those things are massive I love the looks of them, but they are going to eventually show their age with the design, and that's just with any piece of technology, even sports and fitness equipment. I'm gonna put a link down in the description where you can get the absolute best price on the treadmill that I currently have. In fact, if they've got a newer version, then I'll be linking that one. But I've had this thing well over a year and a half now, and it runs perfectly, easy to maintain, very easy to operate, and I love the setup I've got going on here. All that you need aside from a treadmill or an exercise bike is the Peloton app. And here's what's cool about the app. You are getting some amazing, like world-class level fitness classes. You can even join the live classes for a fraction of what people who own a Peloton are actually paying for the Peloton Premium. Uh, it's like $40 a month. By the time you watch this, it's probably 50 or 60 because I think they just keep raising the price of that. If you have a Peloton, but you don't subscribe, you're not gonna get a large portion of the features that people buy Pelotons for, unless you pay for that monthly subscription. Now, if you still want the Peloton experience, this is how I do it. I have an affordable treadmill that is compact. It's a space-saving treadmill. I use it, I've got it in my office, and I still have plenty of room because of how little the footprint is for this thing. And then I've got a wall mount where I put my tablet, which I'm currently using the cheapest one that I could find that has the best resolution screen for the price and that runs the app really well, and that is the Amazon Kindle Fire tablet. I think I'm using the newest HD 10, but you can get whichever one you want. I'll also put a link down in the description where you can get an Amazon Kindle Fire tablet. Those things are amazing, and it runs the Peloton app so smoothly. You would think that this thing was built for this type of purpose, and it, it's just perfect. So the wall mount that I use, I'll also link it uh, because it is really difficult to find, is a 3D printed wall mount that is super easy to install and easily lets you slide in and out the Kindle Fire so that you can charge it and take it down if you don't wanna have that up on your wall. But I love how it looks, I love how easy it was to set up, and I've got a really good setup here because with a normal Peloton, a lot of times you have to look downwards towards the screen, I can look straight forward and actually focus on my posture, getting my shoulders back so that I'm able to fill my lungs with a lot more air and have a more effective run. Whereas with a Peloton, you're actually looking downward a lot of the time, and that's kind of a, a weird position. I actually think this is a more ergonomic solution. The treadmill that I'm using was so affordable for a treadmill. You can even go to your local big box stores and treadmills easily can run $1,200, $1,500, $2,000 plus. And if you're gonna spend that kind of money, I guess go ahead and get a Peloton. But if you wanna do a budget solution where you can still get fantastic exercises in, fantastic runs, what's cool about the one that I have is you can even turn the wheel just like you do on a Peloton to adjust your speed. So as you're exercising and as you're speeding up, as, as the instructor in the video says, go eight miles an hour, you can just turn the dial up to eight miles an hour, just like you would on a Peloton. The only difference is it's a space-saving, much more affordable treadmill than what Peloton is selling. Obviously, it's not going to be a Peloton, but this is a really good solution for people who don't have over $2,000 to spend on a treadmill or an exercise bike, and then another $40 plus every single month to spend on a subscription. What I love about the Peloton app is if I didn't, if I decide tomorrow I don't want it, and I wanna go with something different, maybe a different fitness app, I can cancel it. It's like $13 a month right now for the Peloton app, and I'll also put a link in the description to it where you can get like a free month to try it out, see if you even like it, but it's, it's actually a really good app. I mean, if it wasn't, I'd be telling you right now because 
I've already told you that there are alternatives to a Peloton bike. So I would tell you if there was a really good alternative to the Peloton app. And right now, the closest second would be like Apple Fitness Plus, and it's really lacking in terms of the catalog compared to what Peloton's got. As someone who does not actually own a Peloton, who has their own sort of affordable setup instead, I can tell you the app is really good and really engaging. You can do a 30 minute run using your treadmill and the Peloton app and it feels like it just goes by so quickly because it's fun, it's engaging, the music's good. It's a really good app. So again, links down in the description to all of the stuff I've showed you. I really hope this helps you out if you're wanting to get fit at home without having to go to the gym all the time and you don't have a lot of space or you don't have a lot of money that you really want to spend on getting a nice setup. I mean, this is in my home office and it works perfect for me. I'm not the kind of person who has the motivation to drive to a gym every single day, but I am the kind of person who, if something's right there, it's in front of me, I'm going to do it. And that's exactly what's happening with my treadmill and the Peloton app. It's a perfect setup for me. I think it's gonna be a great solution for a lot of you guys. I'm not saying Peloton equipment is bad. Obviously, it's really nice, high quality equipment, but you're saddled with that $40 plus a month subscription to be able to use all of the features on your equipment. I don't like the idea of that myself. The treadmill that I use does not have any type of subscription or anything. It does have an app that I've never actually used because I just use my Apple Watch to track my runs and stuff. And the Peloton app will actually do um, some tracking itself and you can get awards and things like that. So I, I've never needed the app that the treadmill I have comes with, but there is one. But in terms of having a $40 a month subscription to the Peloton Premium or Pro or Plus or whatever it's called, I'm not gonna do that because I'm the type of person that I'll feel guilty paying that amount. What is that like? That's well over $400 a year to be able to access the features on equipment that is already pretty pricey. Uh, I think that this is a good alternative for a lot of people. Let me know in the comments what you think. This is definitely a budget solution, but it's one that feels premium and really works out well. Please give this video a thumbs up. It's about the only way that people are gonna see this video and we can get the word out and more people can have an affordable setup like this. Subscribe if you haven't already, because you're definitely welcome here. And I'll see you guys later.